Hey, good day, Pour It Out family. It's Ben and Jody Hughes. It's so wonderful to be with you. You know, fear is a giant in the land and it's attempting to silence your voice, squash your potential and keep you out of breakthrough. Well, today we're going to slay the giant of fear. Come on, it's going down. Here we go. Pour, Pour it, it out. out. Hey family, welcome to Pour It Out with Ben and Jody Hughes. As you can see by my masculine features, I'm the Ben, <laughs> I'm the Ben one. This is Jody. Good day. Hey, we're so excited to be with you today. As we've already said, today we're bringing down that giant of fear. Now, this yeah. is something we love to talk about regularly, right? Because it's one of the enemy's main weapons. You don't have to, you don't have to be a prophet right, to know that one of the things that the enemy's trying to release on the world right now is fear. Yeah, absolutely. And everywhere we go, everywhere we go, it would be one of the most common things that people need prayer for and ask prayer for. Fear is, it's a lie and it's going today. Right. And so just in case, you, I, I know people are going to get free and I want to break it off you right now yeah, because especially for yes. you who are really experiencing that, the enemy doesn't want you to hang around and get free. So before you even have a chance to go yeah. away, right? I bind that spirit of fear and I break it off you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. I release freedom over you right now. We tell that fear, that demon just to shut up right now in Jesus mighty name. You know, I want to tell you this. Fear is all about intimidation. Mm. The enemy wants to try and intimidate you because God has a plan for your life. Yeah. He wants to use you powerfully. And so the famous verse from 2 Timothy uh, 1, 7, you know, it says this. God has not given you a spirit of fear. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power and a sound mind. Yeah. And there's actually a little hint in that verse, right? Because it says a spirit of fear which says to us that fear is this spirit, right? Literal, lying, little, let's just, I mean, we call them what they are. It's demons, right? Who want to try and keep you in bondage, whispering lies and fear into your ears. You know, uh, many translations where it says a spirit of fear actually say a spirit of timidity, right? And that word timidity, of course, is intimidation. Yeah. The enemy wants to intimidate you in to walking in the fullness of the plan that God has for you. Why? Because he's afraid of you. The enemy is afraid of you. Wow. He sends a spirit of fear to you because he's afraid of you. Come on. Did you hear that? And so if he can keep you under this intimidation, he's going to, he wants to try and silence you. He wants to stop you from stepping out in faith. Why? Because he's afraid of you, my friend. Yeah, well, on the other side of your breakthrough is always the breakthrough of many other people. So this completely makes sense that the only way to keep not just you out of your breakthrough, but all the other people around you that are going to come into fresh breakthrough is to keep you so scared and fearful that you don't walk in the breakthrough that God is giving you. Right. So true. You know, often where there's fear, it's because we're actually under the influence of a lie, right? And usually that lie is either something to do with who God is or who we are. Yeah. Wow. I, 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 I'm going to keep talking, but I, I know right now people are getting free. People are getting free. I can feel weight and chains just breaking off people right now, right yeah. now. And I want you just to stick with us. I know there's temptation to kind of to get off this and, and, and do something else. But I want to tell you, if you stick with us, I know you're going to get free. In fact, uh, on this on Pour It Out with Ben and Jody, we've actually talked about yeah. fear before. Right. And we actually got a, an email from a pastor in Malaysia. And he says, you know, for many years he had been under mm -hmm. this this spirit of fear. And it actually was prohibiting his life his call, his yeah. ministry. And while we were praying on this show, suddenly in yeah. Malaysia, yeah. he got delivered from that. He, he, he actually let out a bit of a scream because this is deliverance, yeah. demons breaking off him, the spirit of fear. And his wife came running in and he told us, you know what? He's been different ever since. Wow. So much so that he wanted to send us an email. And, and this is a pastor. 
So there's no shame, guys. There's no condemnation. We're doing this because you need to be set free. Jesus come, came to set us free, right? Yeah. So there's no point hanging on to these things that the enemies put on us. You're getting free today. Yeah. So I want to come back to this. Often we're under a lie. We're under the influence of a lie. And often that's about who God is, right? Says things like this, that God is not able, right? God is not able in my situation to take care of me or provide for me or deliver me or yeah. heal me. That's such a lie of the enemy. Yeah. And it keeps us entrapped, keeps us trapped in the lie. Right. And so we come under this fear. So sometimes it's worth actually just taking stock, right? Mm -hmm. And thinking, well, I have, I have fear in this situation. Why do I have fear? What is the lie that I'm believing? Yeah. And like I said, often it's this, that God is not able. Another lie is that God is not willing that God is not willing or that he doesn't want to. I want to tell you, isn't the enemy cunning, right? He'd love to, you to think that God's not willing to set you free. Are you kidding me? He sent his only son to come and die on a cross, right? For you so that you could be free. And who the son sets free is free indeed, Wow. right? God wants to set you free. He wants to deliver you. Yeah. You know, we need to remember this sometimes when we're thinking about the will of God. We think about this is actually what Jesus did. He came and he paid this terrible price yeah. for us so that we could be healed, mm -hmm. so that we could be whole. Over and over, Jesus says, hey, I want to I want to tell you about the Father. Yeah. I want to tell you about the Father. And one of those things, of course, is provision. A great area of fear is that, you know, we're not going to be able to pay the bills and we're not going to be able to take care of our, our families, mm. right? It's one of the most common lies and it's a place for fear to come in. But Jesus actually says himself, he says, guys, don't worry about your life. And he reveals the father to us that he's our provider and that he is a good father. And once again, he says, hey, consider the birds of the air, right? They don't store up and et cetera, et cetera. And yet the father feeds him. He takes care of them. He says, look at the flowers in the fields. They just, it, this just gets thrown into the fire. The grass gets cut, burnt, thrown into the fire. And yet he clothes the fields with flowers. How much more? How much more? The, Jesus tells us these stories, guys, so because he reveals the nature and the truth of the father, right? Hmm. And then he says this, that the Bible says this, that perfect love casts out all fear. So one of the greatest keys actually to being free from this fear is understanding the perfect love of God that he has for us. Yeah. As we're talking about this, I'm sensing some of you even right now, because when we talk about fear, often there's an agitation that rises up in people's spirits. There's a scaredness. A sense of I've got to get out, I've got to run away. I don't need to listen to this. A sense of wanting to leave, you know, put down your phone or however you're listening to this and walk out of the room. Stop listening is what you feel like right now. If that's you, I'm speaking to you right now because God sees you and he knows what's going on and he's freeing you from the giant of fear right now. And so before we go any further, again, we're saying it because there is power as we decree truth. I speak to that spirit of fear and I say, get off and get out and stop listening lying to our family right now. We tell fear to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Agitation, go in the mighty name of Jesus. And that sense of feeling like you need to run away from what God is speaking to you. We break that lie right now. And we say that there is peace in the name of Jesus and that there's a future that is good for you, friend. There's a future that's good for you. Wow. Wow, so powerful. So powerful. I know that you're getting free. I know you're getting free today. You know, another one of the lies sometimes has to do with, you know, we trust God, but we don't trust people, huh. right? We think, yes, I can trust God, but, but I have this fear because I can't trust people and the people are going to let me down, right? Well, I want to tell you this. God is faithful even when people are not faithful, yeah. right? Other people's faithfulness does not inhibit God's faithfulness or unfaithfulness, yeah. right? Doesn't stop the faithfulness of God. And, you know, the Lord did this really special thing for us. I remember, you know, we, uh, we had somebody tell us that, and this is a simple story, but it illustrates this really well. They told us that God told them to buy us a television, 
right? This is something obviously very normal, practical. Some years ago. And this yeah. is a long time ago, yeah. and we had one of those old fat TVs. This wasn't a skinny TV, it was a fat TV, right? It's like about 25 inches. And they said, hey, God told me to buy you a new TV. Well, our daughter was only, what, nine or 10 or something like yeah. that. And of course, she was really excited. Well, we waited and we waited and we waited and the TV never came. And of course, our daughter was getting upset, to be honest. I was really looking forward to it too, right? And we're like, okay, this person's let us down. Well, one day we had some friends come. This is months later. We had some friends come and stay with us from America. And they were, this was in Australia, right? We lived in Australia then. Yeah. And we had some friends come over from America and they came and stayed with us and they went out one day. And in the afternoon, they came home yeah. and they walked in the front door carrying this gigantic box right and as soon as they walked in it became apparent what it was it was a large flat screen television they had been out just out shopping and god said to them hey i want you to buy these guys a tv god we didn't we didn't say anything we hadn't yeah. told them hey well, you know we're supposed to be getting this tv or we want a new tv none of that but god was faithful and they walked in the door and god was just saying to us hey ben and jody keely I am faithful even yeah. when people aren't. And I want to release that over yeah, you right on. now and break that lie that the enemy has whispered, hey, God's not faithful because these people aren't faithful and these people have messed up your life. That's a lie. And I break yeah. it off right now. Yeah. I want to tell you, my friend, God is so good and he is so faithful. And once again, perfect love casts out all fear. Come wow. on. So there's a place to have an upgrade of the love of God right now, because perfect love casts out all fear. So put out your hands. We're going to have an oil break. We're right. going to have one of those moments where we just ask for the truth of God to invade us right now. God, let us know deep down inside, friends, deep down inside. Wow. We're loved. And that the love of God is powerful. In fact, the love of God is so powerful it casts out fear because fear is scared of the love of God. And so God, upgrade our knowing right now yeah. that we're loved, that you're loved, friend. And may you feel and know his love right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, so, so good. You know, a lesson on fear is often a lesson about trust. And I just want to say this to you guys. Yeah. Trust is trust when trust is required, right? I know that that's heavy. That's heavy revy right there. <laughs> But guys, trust is trust when trust is required. And I want to mm. tell you, you can trust God. You can yeah. trust God. What's yeah. one of the enemy's favorite lies? You can't trust God, mm. even at the beginning. That's basically what he said to Adam and Eve. You can't trust God. He's lying to you. He's lying to you. Well, the enemy is the liar. And yeah. when he speaks, he speaks his, when he lies, he speaks his native tongue. And yeah. so all those lies are getting broken off you. Fear is going yeah. right now. Hey, we've got some more powerful stories and truths yeah. to share with you. We're going to be right back just after this. out family today we are slaying the giant of fear and if ever there's a season where we need to slay the giant of fear I think we found that season I think that's fair to say right, right. fear is being broadcast everywhere you've no doubt been struggling with that I think everyone has been struggling with fear and struggling with the the broadcast of the fear that tries to limit. Listen to this. This is some of the things that fear does. It limits us. It traps us. It paralyzes us. It confuses. It torments. And many of you have been feeling that foreboding fear, that tormenting fear, even in the night hours where as soon as you try to relax and go to sleep, a foreboding fear comes over you, that tormenting fear, that stuff that comes at you to trap you and scare you. I break that tormenting fear, that foreboding fear, that assignment of fear right now. And we speak peace over you. We say your night hours will be filled with the presence and peace and joy of God that you will sleep and rest 
and your dreams. In fact, that dream life, those of you who are saying, Jody, but I feel tormented in my dreams. I break that spirit of fear that attacks you in your dreams. I break it off right now. I shut down that portal that's been open to fear. And I speak into your spirit right now that you will sleep and hear the Lord as you sleep, that you will have dreams from the very presence of God and from the glory realm. Your dreams are going to be impacted by the glory of God. Come on, this is what else that fear does to you. It tries to lie to us. In fact, it doesn't try to lie to us. It does lie to us. Fear is a false prophet and it will speak untruths over you. It prevents your transformation, your character transformation. It intimidates you and it keeps you out of breakthrough. I mean, that's a lot of stuff and there's more. But I want to say this to you. Fear is a lying prophet. Here's some giant slaying truths for you, friend, to grab a hold of. We've already talked about 2 Timothy 1.7. For God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind. That means that if there's confusion on you, if you haven't been able to think straight, right? Probably fear has been having a field day with your thinking. Just tell it to go right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, all that confusion, that swirliness, that foggy head, that inability to hear and think straight. We tell it to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Here's another giant slaying truth for you. Fear is a spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit. And so once we've evicted fear, Let's welcome in the presence of the Holy Spirit. In fact, let's do it right now. Yeah. Because when we're talking about fear, when we're evicting fear, we need His presence. Holy yeah. Spirit, come. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come. Do it with us, family. Holy Spirit, come. Peace. Wow. wow. Jesus. Yeah, I want to remind you that the enemy wants to keep you bound in fear yeah. because he's afraid of you. Yeah. So this episode is terrifying for the enemy right now because you're getting free and you're getting released back into exactly what God has for you. Yeah. Yeah. Fear's always trying to prophesy to you, friend. It's always trying to tell you what your future looks like and it's never telling you the truth. I remember the day, you've heard me say this before, but it's literally one of those things that it, it transformed my life. Having had a long health journey, stuff like many of us, we've all walked through stuff, right? But because of that, there was a constant fear inside me of what the future would look like, or let's be real, what it wouldn't look like. And I remember the day very clearly when the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Jody, fear is not your prophet. Now it changed everything because in that moment, I suddenly realized that fear had been trying to be my prophet. Fear was prophesying what my future days would look like. Fear was prophesying what stuff was going to happen to me. And fear always spoke worst case scenario, never best case scenario, always worst case scenario. And the Lord was saying to me, Jody, you know, we don't need to ignore the facts, but the facts don't get to prophesy to us. Fear doesn't get to prophesy to us. Listen, friend, fear doesn't get a vote over what your future is going to look like. Wow. It's the word of the Lord. It's Jesus that gets to speak over you what the truth is for your life. Amen. And if this is resonating with you right now and saying fear's been getting way too much influential directional power in my life, tell that fear to go and stop prophesying. You might need to repent right now and say, I've been letting fear be my prophet. Yep. The Holy Spirit's your prophet, friend, not fear. And so if fear's been telling you a whole bunch of lies about what the future looks like, we break that right now. Fear is not your prophet. It doesn't get a vote. It doesn't get to speak to you. It doesn't get to say what the future, what tomorrow, what next year, what next decade looks like. Jesus is the one who speaks to us truth. So good. You know, yeah, we do sometimes need to just repent of allowing the enemy to have this place of influence in our lives. And you know, sometimes what that repentance looks like as well, it looks like switching off those voices that are prophesying over yeah. you from that place of fear. Yeah. Turn off that media that's not speaking life and love and, and the, the perfect love of God over you. Turn it off and stop allowing it. 
to have yeah. that place of influence. And fear will try and stop us running after God, running hard after God. Sometimes fears will start to well up. As soon as you start to, listen, if as soon as you start to press into God, you start to get fearful. If I get any closer to God, my life's going to be ruined. Or if I get any closer to God, what's he going to say to me? There's fear. There's a spirit of fear at work in your life, friends. And if you can't think of anything going on in your life without uh, hope, then there's a lie. There's fear in there. If every time you think about a certain situation in your life, it's only fear that rises up and never hope, then there has been a stronghold of fear, an attack of fear, an assignment of fear that's come over you. And we repent of partnering with fear and we evict it. It's that simple. And God, in its place, give us the truth of what you're speaking over that area mm. in our life or this situation. You know, there's someone watching right now. I just yeah. felt this really urgently. And you are actually tempted to get off this because this thing is yeah. actually popping up its head, right? I want yeah. to tell you, you're getting free today and we just bind that thing right now. We bind all fear and break it off you in Jesus name. Yeah. yeah. I remember in my, in my own journey, I suddenly realized this only a couple of years ago. I remembered thinking that every time it, it, I suddenly realized this, every time I heard God's word and a promise that he was speaking over me, I suddenly realized I received it. And then my very next thought was, oh, but it's not going to happen like that for me. I think it will happen like this for me. And I started to doubt it and fears started to come in that God was just telling me that promise so that I could then be let down and disappointed late, uh, later when it didn't happen that way. Friends, if when you hear the word of God and you hear a promise over your life and then fear tries to steal it from you, tell that assignment of fear to get out of your thinking. It doesn't get to affect the promises that God's spoken over your life. Listen to this, friends. Fear is scared of God. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Fear, you're scared of God. And we're releasing the power and the presence of God right now. And he's infusing every one of you who can hear my voice right now. And so everywhere that fear has tried to infiltrate your thinking and your heart and your life and accuse you and trap you and paralyze you, fear, go in the mighty name of Jesus. People are getting free right now. We're slaying that giant of fear. We're slaying that yes, prophesying Lord. false prophet that tries to tell you that the future is no good, that the future is tainted with bad things. Ah, in this season where fears tried to keep you living small, friend, fear tries to keep you living smaller than God ever intended you to live. Fear tries to lock you up. It's not going to anymore, friend. Fear is moving on. Peace, excitement. It's time to dream again, friend. It's time to build again. It's time to start to prophesy over our lives the very word of God that carries joy, that carries hope, that carries the ability to build in the presence of the Lord and get excited about what he's going to do in your life, friend. It's a new day. Fear is not allowed to keep you living small. You're going to live to the full, the maximum potential of all that God's put in your life. Wow. Yeah, I can feel people yeah. getting free. I can just, I sense it. It's like chains yeah. are breaking and, and I see people even getting up off the, off the couch or yeah. out of bed, just in that place and going, you know what? I am free. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. And you are free from fear today in Jesus' name. Yeah, don't let fear keep your mouth shut anymore. There is power in releasing the truth of God. Here's four really quick keys to breaking the, the giant of fear in your life, to slay that giant once and for all. One, evict the, evict the lies and replace it with the truth. Remember always, replace it with the truth. Two, remember what God is saying to you, has said to you and is even saying to you right now. And I say, open up our ears to hear, Lord. Let the Spirit of God start to stir in us and remind us of the Word of God and what He said to you, what He's promised to you. He is not a man that He should lie. Friends, God's speaking truth. Remind us, God, of what you've already said. Three, see yourself as God sees you. Remind yourself that you are an overcomer and that fear is not going to trap you any longer. God's breaking you out and breaking you in. And four, decree truth. Call the mountain of fear level ground.
Just speak to it now, friend, in whatever area where fear is trapped. You say, fear, that mountain, that lie, drop to the ground in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, you know, our journey of getting free from fear starts with putting our trust in Jesus and giving Him our lives. And if you've never given your life to Jesus, you've never said, God, I want to make Jesus my Lord and my Savior. I want to invite you to do that right now. Or friend, even if you've done that at some point, but you've walked away from the Lord, you need to come back today. I want you to pray this prayer with me right now. Just say, Jesus, I call on your name. Yeah. I give you my life. Say it with me. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Wow. Please forgive me for my sin. And I receive your forgiveness right now. Yeah. And say this, I choose to trust you, Jesus. Yeah. And I evict all fear from my life in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Amen. Wow. Friend, if you just prayed that prayer with us, we want to hear from you. Go to our website, send us a message. We'd love to hear that you just gave your life to Jesus. Wow. Let me pray this verse over you. Psalm 34, 4. I prayed to the Lord and He answered me. He's answering you, friends. He freed me from all my fears. He's freeing you from all your fears. Let us bless you right now. Wow. Wow. And so friends, yeah, <laughs> fear is gone. The perfect love of the Father is washing over you today. We love you, Pour It Out family, and we bless you and we release it over you right now. Pour, Pour it out. out.